Um, basically, actually, I started off, um, I was addicted to opiates for eight years, so I actually started off with, uh, doing, um, Oxycontin and, uh, which is just a pill form, um, in high school, um, but that was just for fun. I know that sounds crazy, but it wasn't like an everyday addiction, but that's when it first got introduced to me. Um, I would do it here and there, um, at parties or stuff like that. And then I was actually going to OCCC. Um, I was enrolled in college. I was doing really well. I had my own car and I got introduced to those pills again. I ran into one of my friends that I was friends with in high school. This is when I was done with high school and, um, they had some and I just, smoked with them one day and then I literally I, we switched to heroin like I really don't even know how it happened um I know that sounds crazy but it's just you're doing pills one second and then it's not doing the same effect for you and then you're doing and then you're doing the bigger stuff and then once I started doing heroin I didn't even ever do pills again I just was doing heroin and um so I kept going back or I would have some um weeks of sobriety um sometime even months but my brain every day would think about it like to where it was so hard you know and it, um this last time i got sober i i just was isolating myself i didn't talk go to go to counseling i didn't talk to anyone about my issues i didn't i didn't uh, do the medically assisted treatment the right way i was trying to medicate myself and so i relapsed and that's what got me here to this house so how i got on the medically assisted treatment this time is after all this trouble I got into, I went to jail for five months, and I got out, and I got in drug court, and I talked to my counselor about it, and uh, went about it the right way, and got an appointment. You have to take an assessment. It takes like two hours. It asks you all these questions to make sure you even need it, because they don't want to prescribe someone that's just trying to get it, or, you know, stuff like that. And obviously, it said I need it, you know, being an opiate user off and on for eight years, and an IV user, which is even worse. You know, you're more chemically dependent on it. Um, I... I I got on it and at the time I, I did already have three months sober so some people's outlook on that is like oh you've already been doing it for this long with no dependence you made it this long you know why are you doing it but in my head I'm the only one that knows what I'm going through and even in those three months yes I did it but every day having cravings every day thinking I, I, I could use at any moment or, you know, actually not just a craving, but actually wanting to use every day. And the only reason I, I didn't is because I knew I was going to be drug tested or something, you know, the, the uh, withdrawals, the, the like getting sick and stuff stops. But, you know, acute withdrawals, like withdrawing, getting anxious or sometimes even nauseous just by thinking about it because you did it for so long, you know, and that's why I went and, and got on it. And it's helped me. I'm sitting here and I'm nine months sober.